Yeah, and it, it is a 1.7 amp hour battery. So if I can zoom in on that, 1.7 amp hours. All right, guys, today on Man Cave Tools, we are actually going to explore the brand new DeWalt PowerStack 1.7 amp hour battery. Now, this battery claims to be 50% more powerful and 25% smaller, which I believe the size, because as you can see, if you put them together, it is actually significantly smaller than just the two amp hour batteries. We're gonna do some comparison tasks with this battery and we're gonna go against the two amp hour and stay tuned to the end because we also are gonna do a four amp hour uh, battery with 21700 cells. I am very impressed with the size of this and the new technology of the batteries that are in there. Now, this type of battery is not new. It's just new towards tools. Let's test this out, see how this actually is. The new power stack weighs 11.0 ounces. The two amp hour battery weighs 12.4 ounces. The four amp hour battery with 21700 cells weighs one pound and 3.0 ounces. To let you guys see the size difference between these, that's the four amp hour, two amp hour, and the new power stack. They are all lined up to the, to the very back. There we go. That is the size difference between these batteries. So as you can see, there is, it is lined up. It is definitely smaller than the two amp hour and definitely even smaller than the four amp hour. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I can't wait for DeWalt to make a, a higher amp hour of these. Can't wait. And one thing I'm going to say is DeWalt finally has a battery that has rubber molding on the bottom, which I'm a huge fan of rubber molding because you can put these on finished surfaces without worrying about scratching the surface. So yeah, rubber molding on the bottom of this is very good. All right, we'll do the XR first. It's on speed three. Time. Uh, let's uh, put the power stack in. Battery is full. And I'm sorry, I didn't show you guys. Battery is full on the two amp hour. I don't know about you, but that felt a lot better. That felt a lot smoother, it was consistent, and I think it was faster. At least it feels that that felt like it drove it in faster on my end. So let's uh, take that out. With the power stack. Time. All right, next let's do the four amp hour. Battery's full. Time. Let's take that out. Perfect. All right, battery is still full on the two amp hour. We're gonna use the, the, the new DeWalt Atomic, which right now, this is my favorite impact driver. I love how compact it is. And there's the other benefits with this as well. Is this the fastest, most powerful impact driver out there? Heck no, it currently is my favorite. Time. Wow. I, yep, I could tell that one. Time. I could tell that one. That one was, uh, yeah, that one took the cake. Power stack took the cake on that one. All right, let's take 
it's on out. Time. Time. That is an impressive bat. That is such a little battery too, and it's very impressive. All right, so let's do the four amp hour battery with 21700 cells. Time. Let's take it out. All right, so let's go to something that's a little bit more high demanding. All right, so we got a two amp hour battery. Battery is still full. We're gonna do a six inch by half inch lag. And yeah, we're gonna see which one is able to do this faster and if even able to do it, do it at all. It's on drill, it's on speed one. Ah. Oh. Let's see. Nope. Uh, so that one failed. A two amp hour battery failed. Let's switch over to the power stack. See if the power stack can do it. This the battery is still full on the power stack. And let's look at the battery on the two amp hour. Battery's at two bars. That might go back up to three, but we'll, we will see. We have another six inch lag right here. Oh, about the same, about the same. Let's give it, another, we'll give it one more pull. Oh, oh, I broke the, all right, so the, this is what broke. That is completely stripped. What about my Ryobi Lynx? All right, we'll see. Let's give it another pull. Yeah, that actually, that drove it in. All right, so. I'm gonna put the two amp hour battery back on and give it a pull. Remember, this is, this is not a test of the tool. This is a test of the batteries. All right, so the two amp hour was able to drive that back in. All right, so let's take that out. Time. Let's take it out. Wait, it's in reverse, right? Yeah, reverse up oh, and make sure it's on drill. Up, oh, it is failing to take it out. Let's see if the two amp hour battery can take it out. For this, take this one out. Let's use the four amp hour battery. Huh. You know, it might be the tool. So let's actually switch over to the 996. On speed one, it's on drill. Let's actually go over to the, let's go do the power stack. Battery is still full. There you go. So right there, if you guys were wondering if uh, the 996 is any more powerful than the FlexVolt Advantage ha hammer drill, you have your answer. All right, since we have the 996, we're gonna, uh, let's do that again. Oh, I, I wanna do that again. Two amp hour battery, battery has two bars. All right, that's where that stops. We're gonna give it one pull, one extra pull. Uh, it has like about a half inch left. All right, so let's do that one more time with the power stack. A high demand task. <laughs> Done. It did it. Not sure if you guys can see that right there. It did it. It did it. Not too shabby, you guys. Not too shabby. All right, let's see if we can finish the two amp hours. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. 
All right, let's see if the two amp hour can take its own uh, lag out. Yes, it can. Time. Power stack. Yes, it can. Hey guys, that's actually a big deal. The fact that that battery can do a six inch by half inch lag, that actually is a very big deal. All right, let's do the four amp hour. Time, it did it. Did it, let's take it out. Time. We are gonna do the four amp hour battery with 21700 cells against the power stack. Non -reach, we did not recharge this. And we are gonna do a six inch by half inch lag. All right, let's do the power stack. Wow. That's actually crazy impressive. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, you guys, that really is impressive. For me to do these tests as long as I have, for just for the size of the battery, producing that much power for your tool is actually insane. Like that thing is small. When it comes to small or low amp hour batteries, I do easier tasks. But these are, this, is, this battery is doing tasks that I do with high amp hour batteries. So like that's actually very impressive. All right, we are gonna use this impact wrench to take the, these two out. But as you guys can see, my tools do get dirty. All right, just most of the time I wash them, give them a quick wipe down before I put them on my camera. But let's take these out. Time. All right, and let's do the power stack. Uh, the power stack, 1.7 amp hour. Time. All right, so let's do the DeWalt Atomic single handed recip saw. We are using the Milwaukee uh, Axe Blade. What is this? It's wood with nails, it has uh, five teeth per inch. That's what it looks like when it's on the tool. All right, the power stack has two bars. Oh yeah. Major difference. Wow. Oh, that's why. All right, we're not gonna count. We're not gonna count that one. We're gonna go. I'm sorry. I should have looked on the bottom. That's the point of these tests, you guys. Stress the battery out. See what it can do. It stopped. Time. All right, there was one there. Let's see the battery life. One bar. We'll let that bar rest. All right, let's do one more. I want to uh, completely deplete this battery. Up. Oh, it stopped. 
Yep, oh, yep, I think the, ba the battery's dying. Yep, battery's dying. Is that flashing at all? Yep, uh, it doesn't have enough juice. It does not have enough juice. All right, so let's uh, whip out the two amp hour. The, uh, the, uh, this one has one bar. All right, one bar is left. So 30.6 30 watt hours, and this one's 40 watt hours. This is a two amp hour battery. This is 1.7 amp hour battery. This is DCB P034. This is DCB 203. And so yeah, it didn't do pretty, it didn't do that bad of a job. One bar left. No reason to do the four amp hour battery on this one. All right, guys, so when it comes to this battery, this battery is actually awesome for the size it is and the power that you that this actually gives your tool. Now, we have one bar left. I'm pretty sure the battery needs to be charged up. but And this takes like about 20 to 25 minutes to charge up, just to let you guys know, from a dead battery. This is a little tyke. This guy is small. Yeah, he's a little, in my opinion, you know, it's, when it comes to the price of $180 for two of them, uh, $119 for a single one, $150 for the charger and a single one of these, but the best deal that you can get with for these batteries, $229, they have a kit for the new DeWalt Atomic impact driver, the uh, DeWalt Atomic uh, drill driver, charger, bag, and two of these batteries. Now that's the best deal. I'll put a picture of it right now. If you could find it, I'd get that if I were you. This power stack is seriously awesome and I can't wait for other companies to make more. I can't wait to test those out as well. But yeah, this uh, if you need a small, very, very compact battery that produces a lot of power, this is it. Not too shabby for a 1.7 amp hour battery. That's not bad at all. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.